The Guilford County Division of Public Health is investigating a case of tuberculosis at Ragsdale High School. Today, our Joshua Davis spoke with experts about things that parents could and should look for and also explores the likelihood of anyone actually getting it. Guilford Public Health was notified on December 1st about this tuberculosis case and they're working with GCS to identify possible exposures. However, they say cases like this are uncommon. The Guilford County Division of Public Health has already notified teachers, parents, and guardians of students about their investigation into a tuberculosis case at Ragsdale High School. Tammy Koontz of Guilford Public Health says contracting TB from another person usually comes after extensive contact with someone afflicted by it. So typically that includes family members of individuals that are sick and those that may have, you know, prolonged contact with the individual. So those are the people that are really at risk. Um, individuals that have casual contact with somebody that has TB are at very, very low risk. And Dr. David Priest of Novant Health says cases like the one at Ragsdale are uncommon in the United States thanks to the work of public health departments. We deal with a few hundred cases in the state every year. Um, the reason there aren't many cases in the U.S. is great programs for screening people immigrating to this country, for health departments to do a great job, and something that's really quite curable. So, and I think it's one of those diseases people don't think about it much anymore. The important thing that um, we want to relay to the public is that um, no one is at immediate risk of health problems related to this particular case. And over the course of this investigation, the Guilford Public Health is offering free testing for people at Ragsdale, as well as free medication for anyone who does test positive. In Guilford County, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.